Welcome to Frank, the show where all of the stories are true stories, told with frank honesty and lots of laughs. All of the guests wanted by various law enforcement and or modelling agencies and all of the props expensive. My name is Kat Davidson and I'll be your tour guide through the wonderful worlds of these talented and fearless guests. Today's show is called Zoo Tales. You'll hear some tales of tales told today, some animals being animals and some humans doing it too. Like a bloodhound gang song done as interpretive dance while a beat poet bleats in the foreground. Our two storytellers are jesters of high order, the kind who would almost certainly have been put in the stocks for making fun of the King's Alpaca. You all know Scott Black. He's been the host of The Late Night Show, so he's part of your family already. He's American, yet delicate. He's strong, but not floral, and he's the backbone of 31 Digital without wearing a skeleton suit. He delivers you hot steaming pod on a regular basis and chooses not to wear protective clothing while he does it. Scott, welcome. Thank you. I feel <laughs> so beautiful now. Thank you. you that, was a, that was a wonderful intro. Thank you. That was a crafted by the gods themselves. Uh, well, just, just one god. Goddess. Thank you. Oh, thank you, finally. <laughs> the recognition you deserve. Yeah. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> Sitting next to him is Cameron Duggan. Cameron is everything that's wrong with modern comedy. He's smart, he's funny, he's good looking, he's driven, committed, relatable and quick on his feet. Frankly, it's outrageous and I for one think it should be stopped. He represented Queensland at the National Raw Comedy Finals in 2013 but decided not to win it. Cameron, welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. It was a, um, a good decision by Everything you. you've heard about me is true. <laughs> everything. I think we need to, to start, Cameron, by, uh, by calling you Couch Boy. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's fair. I'd completely stuff this up. It's, uh... <laughs> I think it's great. I think, you know, he, he goes with it. He eats up the scenery I'm and wears it. I'm just saying that. I, I did do it on purpose. All right. Yeah. I'm All hoping right. we can green screen you later into some sort of, I don't know, a bus, a combi. I had several options. A shirt car. Right, and that's what you want. I'm glad you I'm glad you had the blue one. No, the others are in the car. All right. Just in case, yeah. <laughs> on various bodies. Yeah. Scott. Yes. What's it like being on that side of the couch slash desk? I don't have a desk to I feel like I need something. Or at least a coffee mug and be like, Hey, yeah, okay. Uh it's it's oh, I, I like it. I like the uh I like someone else being in control for a change. And uh so if, if the callers want to complain, uh it's Kat Davidson, that's with a K. Uh, <laughs> and not so much at me now. <laughs> and Cameron, is it more daunting to be in front of a camera or uh, in front of uh, 2,000 screaming fans? Neither, neither thing scares me, to be honest. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just go out there blending into my surroundings and uh, <laughs> still what I do. <laughs> do you scope out comedy rooms and just make sure that you're the colour of the, the uh, curtain behind you? As I said, I always bring options. I, uh, I have some terrible curtain options for live performances. <laughs> Please don't start putting horrible curtains up. That's, I don't want to have to wear I can that. just tell when he gets famous, that's going to be part of his writer. Uh, I need to know what the curtain is yeah. uh, so, so I can match. Oh, he already does that. <laughs> My name's Kat Davidson. This is Frank and Cameron Duggan and Scott Black are sitting side by side like little mouseketeers on the blue couch of destiny. I have to ask you, Cameron, uh, stand-up is a fairly new thing for you. When did, when did you start and why? Uh, about uh, four and a half years ago, and uh, basically my my friends got sick of hearing me talk about my dick, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I do, you I, now global. I do it to strangers. You know, <laughs> it's working quite well. You know, it's been a long way to the top, but uh, here I am. <laughs> Look at me now. I bet they're laughing now. They, yeah, pr pr no, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Cub or <eat> jacket? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm cold. It's very cold. Here. One of your many roles, Scott Black, yes. is comedy writer. Yes. How does it feel when you write some brilliant, earth-shattering material and you watch the comedian do it in the way that it was not originally intended? Um, it's it's always different to see people do you the stuff that you wrote. But I mean, as soon as you can get it into your mind that once they've paid and once they have it, it's no longer yours. So it's okay. Luckily, I've had a long time of being hit in the head with steel chairs um, from wrestling. So um, and just various that. bad decisions of my life. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
a lot of times was I'm, that in relation to your to your jokes <laughs> yes <The> comedy, <laughs> that's why writing yeah, yeah i had to start giving them away were you writing for a wrestling show and they just hit you yeah and they were just like it's too funny it needs to be serious um yeah, so wow. i forget a lot of times that i the jokes i've written and they're like hey that was one of yours i was like huh that was a good one. Where was I on that? <laughs> uh, it is it is quite awesome. And and do it sometimes when they go a different way with it, you can be like, oh, that's not the way I intended, but well, that's what that's what you do. You give it you let the little birdie fly and let him fly. How do you feel about that, Cameron? Would you like to have a writer or do you like coming up with your own stuff? i yeah, I don't I don't I uh probably <laughs> I'd probably write good it start. myself. Uh Sorry, I, did, I didn't think you guys would actually talk to me. I thought it was just like a prop. <laughs> Here, I just kind of blend in. Well, I've got two pages about your dick, so we can talk after the show. Uh, put them end to end. <laughs> Hell. You got a ruler on the side of it? <laughs> no, I'm, ki- I'm kidding. Uh, that, um, yeah, I don't, I don't often... Uh, I don't know. Uh, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> The show is called, I'm just going to move on. Uh, the show Great. is called Zoo Tales. It's an animal themed show yep. today. Are you an animal person, Cameron? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, like, do I like animals? Yeah. Yeah, I like animals. They're all right. They're, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. All kinds of animals. You're also a butcher. So I, yep. Do you enjoy chopping them up? Uh, well, they're not, I don't see them as animals then. They're just inventory. Good thing you don't sound like a serial killer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was a little frightened. I do look like a flight risk. Have a look at that. That's how that's how I actually look. That, well, that's my head. That's how I get around like that. <laughs> Looking like that. Every day, that's how I get like... You guys are laughing now, but I have to live like that. <laughs> well, I look like a flight risk. Yeah. That's the real reason we yeah. have you on this show today. The uh, federal police asked me to get some footage of you, and uh, here it is. Um, yeah, well, it won't be. So the only footage, <laughs> a lot of CCTV stuff. <laughs> Scott, you're telling a, a tale a little bit later on in the program, um, direct from your homeland mm. of, of the US. Yeah. Um, of course, because it's a, an American story, it involves cattle. It does. I, I grew up in a very rural area, so I grew up on the farm. Uh, had lots of experience with, with cows trying to poop on you and uh, kick you. And <laughs> so I have a, an amazing leather collection because I... T- that is an excellent way to get out of a break. This is Kat Davidson. Scott's into leather and Cameron's a flight risk. The show is called Frank and we'll be back after the police arrive. 